Jared here in Gatlinburg, Tennessee on a dreary gray morning? I don't know, maybe not dreary, but gray. And I'm about to do something that I've tried to do several times. I'm gonna go buy a ticket, get on one of those lifts, and head up into the mountains. Well, I'm doing it! Wow, this is cool. I uh, had a choice of either they're doing the chair or they have those like enclosed cabins, but there was no way I was not gonna do the chair. I love this. I am by myself because Lindsay is feeling a little under the weather and a couple of my other kids don't like heights so I just went alone. <laughs> it does, heights don't bother me. Cost about, I think with tax it was $24.99 and you can ride all day long back and forth on these things. Wow, this is quite a view. Ah. Oh man, I can't believe I'm finally doing this. I've been wanting to do it for a long, long time. Oh man, that is quite a drop down there. Oh, I have no, what am I, like 40, 50 feet up in the air maybe? Yeah, maybe even more than that. I'm not a very good judge of distance, or height I should say, not distance. There's a shot of one of those cabins I could have took. I really didn't want to wait in line though to get on one, and I really wanted to experience it kind of just out in the air, or out in the open the first time. Look at that, a zip line. I think the zip line was like $30 to do. I don't know if you got to do it as many times as you wanted, or if it was like 30 for once. Bit of a panoramic shot of Gatlinburg from almost all the way up at the top of Anakeast. Ugh. Oh! <laughs> oh wow, look at this up here. I had no idea this was up here. I wasn't sure what I was gonna find at the top of the mountain. I thought it was gonna be like trails and zip lines. We got a cool little village here. What do we got? Looks like we got a pie ice cream shop. I'm not gonna get any. Instead what I'm gonna do is walk past it because I saw a spot to get a shot of the beautiful mountain. Wow, this, this is really cool. And down there is a little mountain coaster. I guess that's what you would call it. I saw the, I knew they had this because I sat in the little car the other day. I just wasn't expecting this cool village. I really wish Lindsay was feeling better so she could be up here. She would really dig this. I guess the little village area is not as big as I thought. That's pretty much it, but it is still really pretty and cool. Now it's time to find out what else they have up here. Lots of places to sit and relax. A couple tables there to eat some food. I saw at least one ice cream pie place. I'll see if there's some other restaurants on the way back through. What is Yeehaw beer? That sounds like something I'd like. Oh, it must be a brand because they got a few different uh, Yeehaw types. They're not serving right now. It's a little early in the morning. But that's something I would like. Oh, this is something I'd like even better than Yeehaw beer. Southern barbecue. Look at all that wood. This must be where they serve it. Not open yet, but I'm sure they will be open soon. Ooh, barbecue beef brisket, my favorite. Pretty windy up here, so I apologize for that. If there's any wind noise. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sit in a rocking chair and enjoy myself for a while. I wonder if they're delivering more Yeehaw beer. Man, these little buildings up here are just so cute. <laughs> this is really great. The wind's not so great, but the village is great. This is a beautiful view. Can you imagine living in the mountains and seeing this view every day? Some people can imagine it because they do it, but you know, I can't. <laughs> Going back down the mountain for more Yeehaw beer. Oh, it looks like they're expanding up here. New dining, new shopping, and more ways to reach the summit. It doesn't say exactly what they're putting in or when it'll be done, but they are doing some work up here. I think that is some fantastic advice because that is quite a steep fall. Time to move forward, move further in to Anakista. What else we got here? I see some rope bridges, and I also see this. Oh, this must be what they're working on. Open spring of 2019, which is right now. No, this must be open right now. 
Okay, yeah, this is not what they're working on. This is open, and we're doing it. Botanical trail. Well, unfortunately, it's starting to sprinkle, and I did hear it was going to rain today, so... I may have to speed this up. I really don't want to. I want to take my time. This is so fun and pretty up here. Look at this. Hmm. Very interesting. As you can see, this is pretty early in spring, so a lot of the stuff isn't blooming yet. But I bet once it does, this is going to be gorgeous. Oh yeah, this is still being worked on a little bit up here. But it's at least at a place where they're letting us walk around in it somewhat. Yeah, it looks like you get up here to the top and they're going to put more in down there, leading back down. So right now it's just one way up, one way down. So I'm going to have to turn around and head back down. I can never get over how beautiful the mountains are. This is an incredible view. Well worth the money to come up here just for the view. So I went all the way up to the top and showed kind of how they were going to be expanding down the other side of this little mountain. It also looks like they're going to be expanding out onto that ridge as well. So this vista garden is going to be quite expansive when it's all done. Well, I found the tree canopy walk where all these little rope bridges are. There's actually two entrances, one up near that vista garden area that I was looking at, but it, for some reason that entrance was closed down. But this entrance, which is right to the left of the lift, as soon as you get off the lift you go through a little zip line building and you can take the stairs down here and start on the trail this way. Oh, here we go. Treetop canopy walk. With all these lights lining the bridges and the platforms, I bet this is quite a pretty walk at night. As you can see, it goes quite a ways up the mountain there. Well, just be aware, if you do want to do it, the walkways are fairly narrow. And the reason I mention the walkways being narrow is because if somebody's trying to come the other way, you're not going to be able to really pass each other efficiently. And the other thing to be aware of is you are a ways up here on these little rope bridges. So if you're afraid of heights, you're going to have a rough time. Give me another warning about these bridges now that I've <laughs> went across a couple. You do not want to be crossing at the same time as somebody else. I mean, even Obviously from the direction in front of you, you don't want to do it, but from behind you as well, it does make walking on them pretty tough if there's somebody, two or three people following you behind you, because there's a lot of bounce on these bridges. A lot steeper than they look, at least a couple of them are. Did a couple of them back to back and now I'm kind of out of breath. That's a pretty long walk, I'm getting winded. Yeah, I'm not sure why this trail entrance is closed or exit, I guess it would be my exit. But it is, so I guess I better turn around and head back the other way. There's a couple little gift shops. This one, Great Outdoors, and this one, Catching Fireflies. But I'm not going to go inside and film in either one of them. I think it'd be kind of rude. They're kind of smaller shops. And it seems like it'd be frowned upon, but they both have some pretty cool little knick-knack things in there. Well, all good things must come to an end, and unfortunately, this one is about to come to an end. That's hilarious. I just fell off the path. <laughs> But anyway, time for me to make my way back over to the chairlift and head down. The little wristband I bought allows me to come up here as many times as I want today. So, who knows? Maybe I will, maybe I won't. I'm not sure. But for right now, I'm heading down. And here we go. I'm timing this out. So when I get to the bottom of the hill, I'll let you know how, exactly how long it takes to do the journey. It's a much better shot of Gatlinburg. Much easier to film on the way down than it was on the way up. It's very hard to turn around in these little bench seats. We're almost at the bottom, and as you can see, the hustle and bustle of Gatlinburg. It's even busy here on Monday mornings in the rain <laughs> because it started to rain. Well, I'm all the way back down to the mountain, or back down from the mountain anyway. I met up with Lindsay. She's got the camera there for me. It took 18 <laughs> minutes to get down. So I timed that out. And that's a lot of fun. $25, you can go up, you can be up there all day. There's quite a bit to do. So I would say it was worth it. I think next I'll try the Uber over, not not today, not this trip, but I'll come back and do Uber over Gatlinburg. Because it looks like it's got some yeah. cool fun attractions. Yeah, I, I want to do it. I want to do it. In the meantime, thanks for watching.
Oh, look at that. It looks like I got down just in time. It has stopped. Probably for the weather. 